hello everyone welcome back to my third episode of my herbal smoke series today is going to be a good episode because we're going to be talking about mugwort aka artemisia vulgaris and we're also going to be talking about what is herbal smoke so you might have seen some posts lately about herbal smoke blends or adding herbs to your joints and if you're not into the loop about herbs this could probably be really confusing and you might be thinking why are people putting rose petals and leaves into their weed i don't get it well i'm about to tell you why so there's lots of different medicinal herbs that have lots of different effects on your body um there's many different reasons that people smoke Smoking is really common for a lot of people because it, when you inhale it into your lungs, it's almost instantly into your bloodstream. You get immediate effect of whatever it is you're smoking. Now, I'm not saying smoking is the best use of getting this medicine um, or any medicine, but it is a very common thing for people to do, which is why I talk about it because I know a lot of people do it. So there's a few different reasons that people may want to smoke medicinal herbs. They might want to cut down on their intake of what they're smoking, either weed or cigarettes, because apparently people still smoke those. Or you just might like the flavor, which is okay too. You might just want the benefits of the herbal blend that you're smoking, which doesn't always have to give you a high. It can just give you a medicinal benefit. Smoking blends have also gotten really popular for people that struggle with depression and anxiety because there's a lot of calming herbs out there that are good for calming down your nervous system. And these herbs are called nervines. So they have a direct effect on your nervous system and just calm you down, chill you out. So that's one reason why um, smoking herbal smokes are starting to be more popular also because smoking is just such a common regular thing that people do like you could be at a party and go step out for a smoke and no one questions that that's just what you do that's your business so for today's herb mugwort the most common reason that people use it is because they hear that it can give you lucid dreams and that's one of the first things i heard about it so when I started to actually learn about this herb for myself, I learned that it has a lot of history and a lot of protection associated with it. So the Paiute Indian translation for this herb is dream plant, and a lot of Native Americans would use it to protect themselves from evil spirits, ghosts. It was also something of a woman's herb. They would use it to induce menstruation or even cure things like a headache or a toothache. It's believed that when you go to sleep and when you're in your dream state, that's when you're getting your spiritual connection, when you're, when you're in the dream realm. So this herb is really good for bringing you closer to the veil of um, the magical veil, I don't know what to call it, but yeah, you get what I'm saying, like the spirit world. When we go over to Europe and Asia, we see this herb planted a lot by people's houses to protect them from evil spirits or negative energy. And a lot in Europe, you'll also see mugwort planted on the side of roads to protect travelers. And it was even said that you could place mugwort leaves in your shoes and you'd be able to walk for a really long time. I don't know how true this is, but someone did say that. Asia also has a lot of history with this herb because it's a part of the Chinese traditional medicine called moxibustion when they take a moxie stick made of um, mugwort and they would burn it over particular acupuncture points to release stagnation in the body and promote the flowing of your blood and of your chi and they would use this herb because um, of the scent and this herb is in the sage family so it smells similar to sage in that it's a little bit like spicy and so it's believed that this scent is able to travel through your meridian lines and um, hence promoting the blood flow in the chi. And it's also said that they used it because it's cheap and um, it grows fast. We see in the Chinese traditional medicine and the Native American medicine that they both use this herb for um, to regulate flow in some way. In, in Chinese traditional medicine, it was the flow of your chi, the flow of your blood, and in Native American medicine, 
it was um, not only for the dreams but also to help regulate women's um, menstrual cycles and bring forward the cycle. So not only is this a dream herb, it's also an herb that promotes flow. Now here's what mine looks like if you can see it. Oh my gosh, the dog. I got this jar back in April and it is December. So that just shows you how much I don't really smoke it because it is really strong. When I do, I use like me, me, a little bit because <clears throat> it's very potent and you honestly don't even need to smoke it to get um, the effects of it. You could just have it by your bed and it will give you the same effect of protecting you, of warding off those nightmares. I had this open on my altar for like a week and all that week I was, oh hey a bee. I was just having the craziest, most vivid dreams and I was like, why? So what mugwort does for us is it turns up the colors in our dream and also the amount that we remember. So it makes us more likely to realize that we're in a dream and then we're able to lucid dream, which is why it was so important to a lot of natives to um, use this herb when they would want to go through like a spiritual awakening because it would bring them closer to that um, that spirit realm. But yeah, so pretty much just to highlight, this is a very protective herb. It enhances your dreams. It will help you to sleep better. Bring it with you when you travel. And like I said, you don't have to smoke it. You could just burn it, make it into a smudge stick. This will help you to remember your dreams, especially if you smoke weed and have a problem remembering your dreams. That's because your REM sleep is suppressed by the cannabis. So if you want to remember things, definitely get some mugwort because I have been having some crazy dreams since I got this herb and yeah i do recommend it but yeah so that's my herbal smoke video i hope you guys like this i hope you think it's informative and i'll be back next time for another video thank you